Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Serena and today we're doing another unboxing try on review session and I'm so glad to have you here. Um, a little bit about my channel. I'm all about subscription boxes, try ons, uh, reviews, shopping hauls, that kind of thing. So if you think you would enjoy that, please give my videos a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Today is the first um, wantable box that I've received. This came yesterday, whoops. And yes, I did cheat. I went ahead and opened it up because uh, I wanted to see what was in it. So let's see what we've got. Oh, and I've got my friend Louie in here with me today. Louie is one of my doggies. I have two wire hair fox terriers. They're litter mates, Coco and Louie. Um, not sure what Louie's doing, but he likes to hang out in here with me. Oh, he's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. So stay tuned and I will get into my first outfit from this box. Outfit number one. What do you think? I really like the blouse. The blouse is a pretty color. It's got this um, elastic gathering here in the front to give it that look of a front tuck, but you don't have to do a front tuck. And then it's got the shirt tail hem in the back. It's got the little tie sleeves for a little interest there. It definitely needs to be steamed been in the box folded up so it's wrinkly but um but isn't it cute i think it's really cute and it's a really nice color i'll show you the little sleeve detail there and it's kind of a wrap top and it's stitched together right here just with one little stitch and then the rest is totally open so i put this little cami on underneath it um and it's low cut anyway on me especially so i think i would wear either this color or maybe a a taupey color cami or bralette or something underneath it for um, modesty. But I like it. And the jeans, uh, the jeans, I was able to get the jeans on and that's about it. They are tight and they are stretchy, but there's just, there's not enough fabric in the, across the seat of the pants. Um, and I don't like quite how tight they are down around my calves. They give that look of a jegging, but they're really jeans. I think a 29 would have fit me better. Um, but like I said, I did get them on. Um, and I'm not sure about the distressing. It's more distressing than I have on any of my other jeans. So just let me know what you think um, about the look of the jeans and the top. I'm definitely keeping a top. This is a keeper. Um, but give me your opinion of the jeans. I don't know if I'm too old to wear ripped up jeans or not. I'm 51 years old. Um, I will say though that it was kind of difficult to get them on because my foot kept going through the knee hole when I was trying to pull them up. So that was a bit of a, of a struggle. But there you go. There's outfit number one with the jeans and the splows and I kept on my booties, my little taupe booties that just, they go with everything, I love them. So while I've got this on, let me try on that jacket. So this is the cut from the cloth, little anorak jacket in the faux suede. It feels lovely. It has a little bit of stretch to it kind of has this waterfall effect right here. But these sleeves, see it's the three quarter sleeves, they have the little tab. I undid the one over here to, just to see if I could unroll the sleeve and what that would be like. But I don't know, it just looks kind of strange to have this part unrolled and not cuffed up and have these little things kind of dangling here and a three-quarter sleeve length jacket is just a little bit pointless in my opinion um 
So, I mean, it's a cute idea and I appreciate where she was going with this because I did ask for a lightweight jacket and I specifically asked for something in this kind of material. I, I love the faux suede, I like the way it drapes and hangs and the way it feels. So, I, she gets an A for effort on this one, but I just, I feel like it, it misses the mark. It's not exactly the look that I'm going for. But somebody else might like it. But let me know what you think about it. And here's the back. It's got the gathers across here at your waist, so it does cinch you in a little bit. There we go. I'll be right back with the next look. What do you think? Here is look number two. Same jeans. Switched out my shoes. I've got on my little Nike retro sneakers. Got those in my last um, trunk club box and I've been wearing them constantly. They're so fun. They're a throwback to my childhood and they're incredibly comfortable. So I've really been loving these sneakers. So I kept on the same jeans and put on this top. This is the brushed camo knit hoodie by weekend and the size is medium and it you guys it's so soft um the outside just feels like t-shirt material but then the inside is like super fleecy soft it's not thick so i don't think it would be terribly hot but it would be cozy cozy enough and warm unless it was like super freezing weather like we've had this past week here um and so the hoodie if you see the hoodie is kind of the reverse it's inside out compared to the um, compared to the uh, top, and the top would probably be too short on a lot of people. It's not on me because I'm petite and short this way, short waisted. Um, but I can lift up my arms, and it doesn't show belly or anything, so it's fine for me. I, I like where it hits. Um, the sleeves are a little bit unusual. This is what they're like, just. <laughs> If they're not turned up, they are a mile too long. And they have elastic in them, but the elastic is really wide, or the sleeve is really wide, so the elastic doesn't do anything. Um, so I just cuffed, cuffed the sleeves and turned them up. And that looks kind of cute because then it goes with the, with the hood there that's kind of the reverse of the fabric anyway. So yeah, I would totally wear this just like this outfit with jeans and sneakers. I would wear this with my black joggers. Um, just a very casual outfit for running around, going to my son's um, sports games or practices, things like that. Totally wear something like this. Maybe not these jeans, but some jeans I already have and this top. It feel, feels wonderful on. It really does. It really feels cozy. So let me know what you think about it. This is definitely a contender. But I have another sweatshirt to try on, so we'll see how that one goes. But let me know what you think about this one. Okay. Next sweatshirt. We've got on this favorite parent sweatshirt. This is from Suburban Riot. Just your basic sweatshirt. <laughs> you know, aside from the cute slogan, it's, it's a pretty basic sweatshirt. It does have these um, double seams down the side. I've got it kind of in a little half tuck here, but it's banded across the bottom, so I could just wear it like that. It's also really long, so I mean, if you wanted to wear it with leggings, you could totally just leave it long like this, and it would come down and cover cover your rear. So I could wear it with jeans, joggers, or like this with leggings. I don't know that I would want to keep this and the camo hoodie. I'll probably keep one or the other, so I don't know. They both each have their positive attributes. So why don't you guys comment down below and let me know what you think. Maybe you can help me decide. 
I mean, this is just a classic cute sweatshirt and I like the slogan because of course I'm my kid's favorite parent. But let me know in the comments below what you think. And we'll go on to the next outfit. And now the dress. Okay. <laughs> You guys are gonna have to tell me what you think about this. This dress is, I mean, it's a t-shirt dress. Very simple, very plain, very casual. Um, I left my sneakers on with it just because it is so casual. It's probably how I would wear it, either with sneakers or just flip-flops, casual sandals in the summer. Um, I could definitely see wearing this in the summer when it's super hot here. Um, but I don't know, there's a fine line between, is it a t-shirt dress or does it look like I'm wearing my nightgown? <laughs> and I can't decide if this is t-shirt dress or nightgown. Um, I mean, it is a t-shirt dress, that's what they call it, but does it look like a nightgown on me? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, it fits me really well through the shoulders and up here. I like the v-neck um, it will be cool in the summer I'm thinking about heat hot the opposite of what we have right now so that would definitely be cool and you could wear a cute little necklace or something here um, it would even be good to throw on as a cover-up for your swimsuit um, it hits me at the right spot it's just above the knee so all that is good. The color, they call it black, but it's really like a charcoal gray, like a very washed black. I don't know, I can't, I can't decide what I think about it. It's so soft, it's organic cotton, feels wonderful. Maybe, I don't know about this sweatshirt because it's so long, but maybe with something, you know, tied around the waist. about that what do you think about that look does that do anything for you I don't know kind of on the fence with this one I could see its benefits I could see wearing this a lot in the summer but is it too plain is it too much just like a little sack so that's where I need you guys to help me out and let me know your thoughts on it. And while I've got this on, I'll go ahead and try that scarf. So the scarf, I love the colors. I thought, man, this is gonna look so good with jeans and it's so lightweight, It'll be great for spring. Um, I don't know what it's made of, but right out of the box, it was staticky. Don't know if you can hear that, but it's just staticky, staticky. And that will drive me crazy, especially with my hair, making my hair staticky. But um, it is lovely. It's a pretty pattern, pretty colors, but it's a little wider than I thought. I was envisioning, you know, wearing it twisted around and hanging like that. But it seems like because of the width of it, there's just a lot of extra fabric. Like it's kind of bulky. I don't know, what do you guys think about it? I mean, the colors are very pretty. I could put some static guard on it so it wouldn't be staticky and getting all staticky in my hair. Um, but I don't know. I do like the little tassels on the ends. The tassels are cute. And with jeans, it's just gonna look so good with jeans with these colors. It's a nice pattern. I don't know. I'm on the fence about this one, too. How does it look from the side? Is it too, like, thick and bulky? I don't know. So, once again, 
another thing in this box that I just don't know about. So please help me. <laughs> please give me some input and let me know what you think about the dress, about the scarf, and about those two sweatshirts. Um, definitely keeping the blouse, the blouse for sure. So I'll be right back in a minute and we'll do a little recap. Okay, so let's recap. I've got my detail sheet with the receipt and everything here. Um, let's go over. Anyway, $323 would be my price if I kept everything out of this box, which I'm not doing. Um, so let's go over the prices. The scarf, the scarf is $24. So that's a really good price. I mean, that's you know, what you would pay at Old Navy or somewhere for a scarf. So just trying to decide if I, if I like it enough to keep it. So let me know what you guys thought about the scarf. Um, let's see, this dress, the little black gray t-shirt dress is um, by Z Supply is $44. Okay. I'm not keeping that for $44 because last summer I bought a cute uh, t-shirt dress at Walmart for, I'm sure it was no more than $15. And I got compliments on it every time I wore it. So um, I'm not gonna pay $44 for a very thin t-shirt material dress, no. Um, the favorite parent sweatshirt. This is kind of pricey. Uh, it's $64, which is pricey for a sweatshirt, but it's the Suburban Riot brand, and they do a lot of the graphic tees and graphic sweatshirts, and they do make quality items. Um, I don't know. that That's kind of steep, though, for just a sweatshirt, but I, I did like the slogan on it. I thought that was pretty cute. So let me know. Let me know what you think between this one and the little brushed camo hoodie that felt so good. Of course, they're totally different fits. This one was much shorter. It's got the little hood on it, little cuffed sleeves. This one, well, this one's almost the same price. This one is $59. So a $5 difference between this one and favorite parent. So I'm only going to pick one and I'm looking to you guys to help me decide which one I'm going to keep. Okay. Jeans. The jeans are going back. Um, they're too small. Even if I wanted to keep this style, I would need a 29 because of the, just the way they were made. They were too tight, too tight across the seat. Um, and I don't know that I'm a fan of this much distressing, so I'm not gonna swap these out for a different size. I'm just gonna send these back. But they're $58, which is a really good price for uh, for a pair of jeans. I mean, they are a cute style, but just not, not for me. Um, the blouse, the West Key kind of teal color wrap front blouse, it's definitely a keeper. Um, this, is $58. So I don't care if it's $58. It's cute. I'm in need of um, more blouses. I have a lot of knits and sweaters and things like that, but not a lot of blouses. And this one fit well, and I like the color, and it was just really cute. So um, I'm pretty sure this is a keeper. And then lastly, so this jacket by Cut From The Cloth, the little faux suede anorak style jacket, and this is $89. No, I mean, I wouldn't have kept it regardless of the price because it's just not the style I'm going for, but certainly not $89. So that's my first wantable box. I don't know, I'm kind of, kind of mixed on it. Um, one thing I absolutely love is the blouse. Everything else, I'm kind of eh. Uh, the sweatshirts, I would like to keep one of those. Everything else is just, you know, didn't really excite me that much or didn't like the, the price. So, um, 
but yeah, let me know what you think. Um, and we'll see. I've got another stitch fix box coming soon and another trunk club. So I've got some more coming that we'll be trying and hopefully I'll get some new jackets to try in those. But uh, let me know what you think about everything I've tried on and, um, and let me know how you think I'm doing with my channel since I am new at this. And please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I would appreciate it. And thanks once again for joining me today. I hope you all have a stylish day. See you next time.